Miss Karen English Teacher presents Constructive Feedback. Example number one Sentences in the Simple Past. Hello, Richard, my wonderful student. This is Miss Karen, your English teacher. Before I even begin to tell you about your English sentences, I'm going to tell you the first 10 things I notice right away. Okay? Here I go. Wow! The first thing I notice here is that you wrote presented to. This is a really nice touch, Richard. Did you know that when university students present their work to their professors, they do this too? The second thing I notice is that you remembered to write the date. Great work! You also remembered that in English, the date must start with a capital letter. The third thing I notice. Richard, you wrote both your first and your last name. It's not fun for a teacher to have to try to guess whose work they are correcting. And so, I thank you for that. The fourth thing I notice is that you wrote which homework number you were doing. This shows good organization skills. Super job! The fifth thing I notice is that you wrote exactly what you were presenting. In this case, it is 10 sentences in the simple past. But I also notice when I look down that you actually even did extra work. You wrote 15 sentences. Wow! The sixth thing I notice is that you wrote numbers beside each of your sentences. This makes it easy for me to count them. Thank you, Richard. Ah, the seventh thing I notice is that you capitalized the first word of each sentence. Marvelous! The eighth thing I notice is that you placed a period at the end of each sentence. I know, I know you learned this in grade one, but still, I'm always glad to see this done. It shows me that you pay attention to details. Great job! The ninth thing I notice is that the paper is lined. It looks like you made the lines yourself. Did you not have any lined paper? That's okay, as long as you tried really hard to do them straight. And I can see that you tried. I'm proud of you for that. The tenth thing I notice is that the work in general is very tidy. It is very obvious to me that this is not your rough copy. This is your revised work. It's not folded or wrinkled. It's not torn. There are no stains on it. Excellent job, Richard. Okay, fine. I see you made a teeny tiny error. You crossed out something on number 12. It's true that you could have used correction tape to erase it, but it's very discreet and the rest of the work is so well done, so I'm going to pretend I don't see it. Error? What error? There's no error! See, I told you I wouldn't notice. Now that you know the first 10 things I've noticed, let's look at the work itself. Let's see if you did what you were supposed to do. Write sentences in the simple past and underline the verbs. A little reminder. Regular simple past verbs end in ed. Irregular simple past verbs don't. Regular simple past verbs end in ed. Irregular simple past verbs don't. Sentence number one. Yesterday, I was happy. This is an example of an irregular simple past verb because it does not end in ed. Number two. I worked hard on my homework. This is an example of a regular simple past verb because it does end in ed. Number three. I wrote my sentences carefully. Irregular simple past. Number four. I remembered to include the date. Regular simple past. Why? Because it ends in ed. 
Same as the next one, you can see it underlined there, I created lines on the paper. Regular simple past verb. Number six, I did a rough copy first. I did. There is no ED there. Therefore, it is an irregular simple past verb. Number seven, I used a dictionary. ED ends in ED. Therefore, it is a regular simple past verb. Number eight. My mother came to watch me work. Irregular verb. She said she was proud of me. Irregular verb. Because there is no ED at the end. Just a D, but no ED. I put periods at the end of all my sentences. Irregular simple past verb because it does not end in ed. 11. I referred to the model the teacher gave us. Regular simple past. And the next one also. I called my friend Max to practice the secret door rap on the phone. Number 13. I went to his house after. I went. Went is an example of an irregular simple past verb because it does not end in ed. Number 14. I highlighted my sentences. Highlighted ends in ed. Therefore, it's a regular verb. Number 15 is not a sentence in the past at all. It says future. Please give me 100%. And oh, Look at that on the side. You drew a picture of yourself. That's cute. And so, Richard Lafontaine, as you already know by now, your final grade is 100%. You followed all the instructions, and you even surprised me by doing more than I asked. Awesome job. See you in class. Bye-bye for now.